Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 12 of modding. This time we're going to be focusing on adding in a green block into Minecraft. Now I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a mob tutorial. Now I will get to mobs later on. It's because mob tutorials are a long process. And not only that, I just want to finish everything that has to relate to my green gem. So that's why I'm going to do the final step, which is uh, adding in a green block. So later on in my mob tutorials, I will have to, uh, you know, divide them into separate parts because adding in a mob is a long process but let's go ahead and focus in this situation which we're gonna add in this green block now if you guys know of course all of you guys already know but uh, you could craft yourself a diamond block using nine diamonds it's a bit pricey but it's totally worth it we're gonna do the same exact thing but instead of a diamond block we're gonna add in this green block which are gonna require my green gems that have a little s on them so let's go ahead and add this in and if you want the download for this picture go ahead and get it it's a 16 by 16 transparent actually it's just 16 by 16 there's no transparent so you could get this from from my uh, description and I'm gonna be supplying all the source so you can get the source as well so let's go into Eclipse and add in this block it's the same exact process as adding in a ore but it's a it's a little bit different there's no need to add in that random generator and all that other good stuff so let's go here to public static finals and let's go here to ore which was the last thing we have added in and let's go ahead now let's add in a new parameter may I say a new structure for the solid block so I'm gonna call this place solid solid block like that so this is where all my solid blocks are gonna be able to go so you're gonna go into my description and you're gonna get the first link the first uh, set of source and you're just gonna copy that so just right click copy it's gonna come out as a web page for you and just uh, just copy all that code and just paste it right in to your appropriate location which is solid blocks so public static final blocks it's, since it is a block it's gonna be a block it's not an item and the name of the block I'm gonna call it a green block since uh, you know it's my green gem but if you notice right here I named this block green block and that's my ore so I'm gonna name it a bit different than that block I'm gonna name it green solid block okay so green solid hopefully I didn't misspell anything there we go so green solid block and it's gonna equal a new name alright so we have ourselves right here a block green we're gonna change this up it's gonna be a little bit more different than our ore so we just have to change this up so block name I'm gonna remove this name and I'm gonna call it green solid so it's gonna equal a new green solid a block green solid may I say and this is the item ID of the block so I'm gonna have it a bit different of course as the ore which is 151 this is gonna be 160 you could have it a uh, one let's say 152 let's go ahead and just keep it at 152 just to keep everything organized and this zero you just no need to mess with that you just leave it right there and dot set block name and you can place whatever you like in here so I'm gonna call it solid solid green 001 you can place whatever you like in here it doesn't really matter and the hardness of the block so if we want our uh, block very hard we could just leave it at 5 I'm just gonna leave mine at default 5 and the resistance I'm gonna leave it at 6f you could have it all the way up to 100 it doesn't really matter and of course this is the tricky part where it gets everybody uh, the dot set step sound so this is what it sounds like when you step on it or when you start mining it so let's add in a new sound what we need to do is go to our client right here we're just gonna look at the the list of sounds which we're gonna be able to use so you're gonna go here to client you're just gonna click that little arrow then you're gonna go to source and then you're gonna go to net minecraft source you're gonna look for the Java class called block which is right here so you're gonna open up that block Java and you're gonna see a ton of stuff like if you scroll all the way down this is like very towards the bottom may I say uh, towards the bottom you're gonna find a ton of stuff so what you have to look for is a uh, block steel or block gold okay you scroll all the way towards the end and you're gonna see right here it says sound metal footstep okay so what we're gonna do is just copy that that uh, sound metal footstep and you're just gonna go and copy that and you're just gonna paste that right here in the dot set step sound you're just gonna paste that right here though you still are gonna get yourself an error okay I still have an error why is that well it's because we're trying to add in something that's already in from another class may I say it's really hard to explain but we did get this from the block class so what we need to do is go to the end of the sound right here so just come to the very end and add in block capital B block dot okay so pretty much it's going to import the sound from the block class so it's going to go to the block class and it's going to find the footstep sound and that's it that's basically how to get the footstep working all that stuff you still have yourself one air right here which is a new block green solid we're going to be fixing this right now so to fix this error just hover over the air 
and it's going to say right here create a class for the block green solid all right so you're going to click on that link so then this tab will come out it's going to say new and all you have to do is just click finish so click finish and there we go what we're going to need to do is go into my description and get the second source of code so it's going to be called block name so go into that source and you're just going to go ahead and highlight all that uh, code and just copy it and then go back to eclipse inside our new class the block green solid and you're just going to hide all this code and just replace it by pressing control v so you're going to paste in the new code you are going to have yourself some errors we could fix this in one step it's super simple to fix all these so you're going to go here to a public class and the name so just hover over that error just hover over it and it's going to say right here rename so you just have to rename right here rename type to block green solid the very lowest one and you're just going to click that and there we go it's going to replace all the errors now what we need to do is fix this error this is the id drop what is it going to drop when you mine your solid block is it going to drop gems no there's no need to drop that we're going to drop uh, the same item so in order to do this it's so in order to do this we have to return it to our mod underscore minecraft so uh what what item is going to be a return it's going to be a block so return mod underscore name which we're going to replace to minecraft minecraft and it says right here dot block the block that we're looking for is called green wait what is it called let's go here to uh mod underscore minecraft to see the name it is green solid block with a capital B so I'm gonna go back to my block green solid and call it green solid capital B block dot block ID since it is a block it's dot block ID if you're trying to drop yourself an item then you have to put dot shifted index okay so it's gonna return ourselves our item that you basically placed down in the beginning so yeah that's pretty much it so when you mine yourself let's say if you like punch dirt you're gonna return you know you know you're gonna receive dirt right so you're gonna receive uh, your item after this so now what we need to do is go to our mod underscore minecraft and now we have to define this whole code with mod loader and this is the easiest part we are officially done all we have to do is just do our public void load with mod loader and we're officially done so go to your end of your you know uh, what is this I'm not in the right one am I never mind I'm, my bad I was totally confused because I haven't been coding in such a long time I was like what's going on here so anyways what you're gonna do is just go to your end of the uh, you know your last thing that you added in which was the smelting you're gonna add in the last set of code so let's go ahead and press enter a few times and let's go ahead and open up the last set of code which is in my description you're just gonna highlight all of that you're just gonna copy that and add it into your Eclipse all right, so let's go to Eclipse and just paste that right in. This is the mod, uh, mod loader add-in and all that stuff. So the name of the block, we're going to replace this with the actual name. So let me go all the way up here to see the name. So green solid block. Let me go ahead and copy this. So I'm going to double click this and copy the name. Go back down where all these errors are at and just replace this with the actual name. So green solid block. I'm going to go here to mod loader register block. I'm going to add in the green solid block and mod loader add name for the green block all right green solid block and the in-game name i'm going to replace this and call it green block so green block it's going to be called green block when you when you are holding the item so when you hover over the item it's going to be called green block in game so mod loader add recipe for the item stack of the name block let's replace this with our green solid block we're only have one we're only going to have one so when you craft this once you're going to get one obviously you could have 10 doesn't really matter what you have there and uh, it's gonna equal a new object so these little uh, number signs equal this item so pretty much the characteristic value of this uh, you know number sign equals this item so let's go ahead and replace this item with green gem that is the name of my gem so you see right here green gem green gem this is the green gem that's gonna be uh, crafted into this solid green block now what we need to do is that we're officially done now we just have to set up the picture path and you guys should already know how to do this you just basically rename this pic to the actual uh, picture name so let me look at the picture and see what's the name the name of the picture and it is green block all lowercase if you have any caps go ahead and include caps okay so mine is called green block alright so there we go so it's going to replace the terrain.png with the green block and now let's go ahead and set this up let's just go ahead and right click our green block picture or whatever picture you named it and just copy it so just right click copy 
go into your moddings folder and you're going to paste it inside your uh, you know items folder in your bins and your items folder in your eclipse so let's go to bin minecraft and items and let's just paste that right in there there we go now let's do it one more time but in the eclipse so eclipse go to client go to bin and items and let's just paste that in there we go with all the rest of the items and there we have it guys we have ourselves our green solid block that's basically it hopefully it wasn't a bit confusing I haven't been coding in such a long time because I've been working on several miscellaneous projects so let's go ahead and go into our minecraft game and hopefully it will show up and there shouldn't be any errors let's see if there's any errors if there is then I could totally fix it you know uh, but I didn't get myself an error if you got yourself an error then po probably you need to uh, change your number right here you probably need to change this 152 to something else like 160 or something else so now let's go into minecraft go to single player go into any world we like I'm gonna be in creative world because uh, it's gonna be uh, really easy to craft all this so now let me go into my inventory and throw away some junk because we don't need this and get myself my green gem which has the S so here they are or I could use my shiny gem hmm I should have just had it for my shiny gem oh well so here is my green gem now I'm gonna place it in just like how you craft yourself a diamond block you just have to do the same exact thing and there we go what is this this is our green block what do you know now I have myself my green block and it looks pretty cool look there we go so now I can place it in everywhere I like and it's really awesome look at there we go so now I can place it and it actually looks pretty cool I kinda like the texture It kinda reminds me of like slime or something I'm not sure how to you know define my own block it's <laughs> kinda tricky I just went into you know Photoshop and just made this in a second or so so uh, yeah guys that's basically it hopefully you guys will enjoy my modding tutorial series if you guys do like my modding tutorial series be sure to leave a like maybe a favorite this video you might have to come back to this video at any time while you're modding or maybe when you're making anything you might have to be coming back and forth so go ahead and leave a like tell me what you like to see next I am working on mobs that is the next episode so our next episode is gonna be focusing on mobs we're gonna create ourselves a mob I'm not sure which one I'm gonna be creating quite yet I'm, per I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna add in just a, a different zombie you know like maybe a zombie that has three legs maybe uh, anyways guys thank you guys for all your support I really do appreciate it I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later uh, thank you